Just waiting for people to join. Waiting for people to join. Estamos esperando, estamos esperando que, los, eh, que los encargados se loguen. Estamos esperando a que los programados se logueen. Okay, good evening, Romulo. So how are you? I'm fine. Doing fine? Okay, great. Entonces, eh, tenemos, según el, el horario, tenemos programado desde, déjame revisar de nuevo el archivo. Okay, sí, tenemos que estar hasta las... 10 y 40. Bueno, hasta donde son prácticamente 10 a 10. ¿Todas estas son grupales o individuales, teachers? Eh, son, son, son prácticamente individuales. O sea, en, este, ah, okay. en este es su caso, ¿verdad? Pero aquí, según el horario, tenemos de 10 y 10, 10 y 20, 10 y 30, 10 y 40 y 10 y 50 el mismo día, ¿verdad? Entonces, son 5 okay. personas por, por día, prácticamente. Uh -huh. okay. Y se cubran 50 minutos. Bueno, Uh -huh. So, hasta el momento, ¿cómo se siente? El problema que tengo, no, solo una pregunta, tal vez para antes de iniciar, este, no he podido accesar a la plataforma porque uh, cuando intenté colocar mi, mi password y todo eso, pues me, después me sacó. Quizás lo estaba escribiendo mal y no he podido como obtener la, el acceso. Uh, y, pero no, no excedió los intentos. O sea, no? solo... Es que ah, eso pasó. Tiene Ajá. que reiniciar, la, tiene, le tienen que reiniciar el usuario. Vaya, eh, no hay una opción ahí de, de que diga, ¿cómo se llama? Que diga, olvidé, olvidé mi, mi contraseña. ¿Cómo no? Y, y ya ¿Qué pasa? Que como, creo que el problema, no sé qué está pasando, porque este, cuando me dice que ya me enviaron el reviso, no me ha caído nada. Pero no sé si es por el tipo de, de sistema de la plata. Bueno, del, del, y tengo que... Y fui y verifiqué si estaba en los, en los correos rechazados, pero no, no, no me no. parecía ninguna... No le, o sea que no, no le es posible reiniciar la contraseña tampoco. No, porque me manda que chequee el correo, que, que, que me van a notificar al correo que yo he dejado. Entonces, pero como es un correo corporativo... No Ajá. sé si la plataforma de la organización no le permite ingresar, pero traté de ir a ver si estaba en los, en los correos que a veces están como pendientes, que uno le dé, que acepta. Ajá. No me pareció como, tampoco. Como spam también, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y tampoco le apareció. Ajá. Ok. Sí, pues sí, es, es algo raro, fíjese. Pero eh, igual voy a, voy a, voy a notificarle a, a, al encargado de, de IT. 
porque yo creo que eso me lo puso usted en el en, en mensaje privado, me lo puso en o lo puso en el chat general. En el chat tú? general lo puse, pero me contestó usted, pero no, no, que lo iba a referir a algo ajá, así, pero no sé. Sí, pero ajá, en el privado y esperemos que mañana ya le dé. Le dé. Okay. Sí, así vamos a proceder. So, uh, well, let's make it. Let's, let's do it now. Entonces, uh, so, so far, uh, is there any question? Solita no tiene ninguna, ninguna pregunta, digamos, con present perfect. Vamos a intentar esto. Vamos a intentar uh, primero hacer oraciones con el present perfect, luego con estas que, que, eh, que practicamos ahora. Y también eh, vamos a trabajar con las con un poco con el product development, con los pasos del, del desarrollo de producto también. Vamos okay. a ver, rapidito, digamos. Voy a sacar la pizarra, permítanme. Y aquí en la pizarra usted también puede participar. Okay. Ya le voy a mostrar cómo. All right, good. Good, all right. But, aquí tenemos, por ejemplo, para present perfect. Ahora quiero que usted me hable, digamos, de sus logros o de cosas que ha hecho en, en, en su vida. Por ejemplo, haberse graduado, haber viajado a ciertos lugares, haber conocido ciertas personas, no sé. Mm -hmm. Okay, the... Bueno, I, my name is Romulo Romero. I, I am engineer. I have been work for the International Justice Mission for two years. I am a law enforcement director, and okay. and. And I have uh, been in different countries around the world, and and, and the the last the last time. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I have been. Uh, I no. I have met uh, a, a different. A great person okay and in, in different countries great good that's good All right. and okay uh, what else um all right that's that's good so i have been to different countries okay but uh vamos a ver vamos a trabajar con estas oraciones okay okay all right But usted primero dijo, I have been worked for I -E -I -J -M. Okay, here, yeah. aquí, como tenemos este sí. verbo, no necesitamos el been, el, el verb yeah. be. Yeah, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. I tried to, I have worked. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have worked. Probemos con otra, con otra acción, okay, con otro okay. verbo que no sea been. Por ejemplo, eh, uh, how long have you lived in your house? Okay. How long have you lived in your house? I have lived in my home for 10 years. Okay. I, I have lived in Santa Tecla neighborhood. Okay, great. I have lived in my house for 10 years. That's very good. That's a, that's a good example too. All right. Ahora mm -hmm. sí, ya nos estamos quitando el, esa muletilla, utilizar bin para todo. Uh -huh. uh, okay, bin es como el verb be, o sea, el ser o estar. Ahora yeah. lo vamos a utilizar en, este, en la siguiente oración. How long have you been married? Or, okay. or single. Yeah. Or, yes, yes. Uh -huh. I have been married for uh, 
16 years. 16 years. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's good. That's a great sentence. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Bien. Muy buenos ejemplos. Okay. Great. Great. Very good. Y ahora con las, con las que estuvimos viendo ahora, con las uh, reduced, ha uh, uh, tenido problemas. Le han costado un poco. Quizás sí, porque no, es como un uh, tema nuevo. Yes. No, I, I think... Uh, uh, the 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 when the you show the or uh, the different um, sentences uh the difficult is uh, identified uh is uh and and the sentences has uh, the, the same subject uh, right uh, yeah. but uh when when the, when this is yeah I, I understand Probably, uh, do you think it's because of the vocabulary? Es como, ¿cree que tiene que ver un poco con el vocabulario? With the words? Like, uh, for example, in the first part of the class, we had, uh, we had uh, sentences with, with, uh, with new words, like weaknesses and, and, and strengths. No, and... no, 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 no. I, 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 I understand that. Uh... The sentences. Uh, okay, the, all right. The, the, uh, the, but uh, today I, I, I learned the, the rule out. Okay, that, a new expression, right? Rule yeah, out. Yes, yes, this is a good for me today. All right, good. Uh -huh. good. Oh, out. yeah, it's, yes. it's, a, it's a new phrase, right? It's a new phrase. Hey. New phrase. All right, very good. Very good. So, uh, well, and, uh, and, mm -hmm. yes. and the other is uh, this, the, uh, how do you say siglas or, or? Oh, yeah. S the acronym, S the acronym. Uh, can, can you, can you write it, please? Yeah, I I'll type it here. The acronym. Uh, let's go to the board. Where's the board? Okay. S. S W O T. Ah, uh -huh, yes. So. You can also say, call it SWOT. The SWOT. Like this. SWOT. Uh, También SWAT. se le puede decir SWOT. Mañana vamos a, uh -huh. vamos a estudiar el SWOT, que sería, digamos, el equivalente al, al FODA. Al FODA. Ajá. Uh -huh. yes. F-D-O-A. Okay. Al FODA, que es el análisis de fortalezas y oportunidades and, and so on. So, in English, it stands for uh, strengths, right? Strengths. Weaknesses. Uh-huh, good. Weaknesses. Opportunities. Yeah, opportunities. And threat. Threat. And uh, threats. Okay. Threat. Great, great. Very good. All right, good. So that's what it stands for in, in English. Okay, mm -hmm. very good, very good. So one more time, can you repeat it? Uh, strengths. Yes. Weaknesses. Good. Opportunities. Threat. Okay, and threats. All right, good, very good, very good. Great, well done, well done. Uh, let's check in here. Uh, let's check in here. I'm going to give you some uh, extra sentences with the uh, with uh, with different subjects and you can uh, reduce them if you want to. Okay. okay. So for example, uh, Steve Jobs. Uh, Steve Jobs. Uh, didn't inherit anybody after he died. Okay, good. Ahora vamos a, podemos reducir esta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. But what is the meaning in, in, inherit? Inherit. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. muy bien. Inherit es como heredar o darle herencia a alguien. Ah, uh, 
I, is it the same the heritage? No. Uh, heritage is heritage. herencia, pero uh, heritage is solamente el sustantivo. Mm -hmm. ¿Entiende? No es el verbo heredar, sino que es el sustantivo. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Inherit. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh... Let's see, can we reduce this one? Mm -hmm. Steve, you didn't inherit anybody after he died. Okay. Uh, after he died, mm -hmm. uh, All right, or after Steve, uh, after Steve mm -hmm. Job, no, uh -huh. after mm -hmm. uh, Steve Job died, didn't hear it in, as yes, anybody, no, uh, but acordémonos que lo que vamos a hacer, lo que vamos a hacer es a uh, quitar en el, mm. esa es la frase que vamos sí. a reducir, verdad, y vamos a quitar. Esto, we take this away. ¿Y qué es lo siguiente que hacemos? Ajá. Ok. ¿Qué hacemos con ese? Ok. Ah... Uh, uh, bueno, lo quitas... Uh, Mm -hmm. After but uh, pero estoy confuso aquí. Está <laughs> confundido, okay. Sí. Steve Joe didn't inherit it anybody after he died. After Uh -huh. vale, vamos a reducir esta, ¿ok? Acordemos de la regla, que eh, eliminamos esto y esto. ¿En qué forma va el verbo? En ING. En... ING. Okay, ING. okay. Uh -huh. muy bien. Eh, ¿tiene, es, ¿Es en su computadora o en su teléfono, eh, Romulo? No, en mi, en mi computadora. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, si se va al Zoom, Zoom le va a dar, eh, tiene una herramienta de un lápiz que dice anotar. Okay. Le da clic a esa herramienta y luego le da a la T de texto. En the barn, acá, abajo. Uh -huh. Sí, ah, exacto. But the cherry screen, no. Eh, no, no, hay, hay un botón que tiene una, un, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Record? Un, no, no. No, es como un lápiz. No, 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 me, no me aparece acá, mira, en la barra. Uh, ok, well, don't worry, so, let's, but, trate de hacerla, digamos, en, en, en un... Sí, en un, ok. En, 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 sí, en aquí tengo, algo. I have a notebook, notebook. Ok, great, so, do it in a... Ok. After Okay. Die. Okay, check teacher after dying. Mm -hmm. He didn't inherit anybody. No. 
Yeah, like, yeah, that's good. That's good. Y, y quizás puede utilizar, eh, podría utilizar, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, el mismo nombre, el mismo sujeto. Okay, oh, okay. Steve, uh, after dying, Steve Jobs didn't inherit anybody. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, very good. Yeah, uh, um, I died only at uh, e ENG, eh? Ah, ok, muy bien, ese es otro, otro buen punto. O cambia, ajá. Vamos a utilizar, vamos a utilizar, eh, vamos a hacer un, un pequeño cambio en, en, ese, en ese verbo. Por ejemplo, como los que terminan en I, en I normal, die, ¿verdad? Aquí lo que vamos a hacer es, es hacerlo así, dying, ok, ok, after dying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this. Steve Jobs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dying. Okay. Yes. All right. Good. Good. Very good. Uh, why don't you give, uh, make your own sentence? ¿Por qué no hace una oración usted por su cuenta? Okay. Um... Okay. Claudia, you turn in Before the launch of the rocket. I try, teacher. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. You take your time. Okay. Before. Let me. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Um, after attack the victim, mm -hmm. the robbery mm -hmm. run to the mold. All right, good, good. Vamos a ver after. ¿Y cómo tendríamos que poner el verbo aquí? 
after after uh, attacking attacking uh -huh. the uh, the victims right you said the victims uh, uh, the victims the como continua robbery the robberies okay ladrones is robbers okay the robbers run to the mall ran to the mall okay okay that's good that's good solo que no hay que olvidar que en la hora en la hora la clausa la proposición que uh -huh. tiene el after before y while uh -huh. cuando lo reducimos se hace en ing ok 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 Ajá, aquí antes era así verdad after they attacked verdad uh -huh. after they uh, attacked uh, así yeah, está yeah, verdad sí. Sí. entonces para reducirlo número uno borramos el sujeto sí. número dos lo convertimos en ing after okay. attacking the victims uh -huh. ok great Great, that's good, that's good, very good. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's make one more sentence and we go, okay? okay. Vamos a hacer una oración más y luego terminamos, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before the uh, uh, before uh, the launch, the rocket, the scientists didn't check the platform. Okay, good. Before you say before launching the rocket, okay. Uh, the rocket, uh, the scientists didn't check. Mm -hmm. didn't check the platform you said right platform yeah yes yes okay is it is okay mm -hmm. good good very good hey all right well i guess that's it that's it very good so uh you continue practicing and uh Esperemos que para mañana ya este Jason le pueda le pueda conceder el, el acceso. Le voy a explicar que fue por exceso de intentos y que no ha recibido el correo de el correo para reiniciar su eh, su, yes. su contraseña. All right, good, okay. good. Thank you for staying, uh, Ramón. Hey, thank you, thank you. I hope you have okay. a good night and see hey, you tomorrow. You, you too, teacher. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. So as uh, as you can see here with Romulo, we practiced uh, we practiced present perfect, and uh, we also had a little review on uh, on uh, on the SWOT analysis, or what we call ourselves a uh, FODA, which uh, refers to fortalezas, oportunidades, uh, debilidades y amenazas, or as we call it in English, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So this is how it works, okay? This is how it works. Uh, we also use, we also practice uh, using uh, clauses, reducing clauses. I will also give uh, more examples about it. And uh, as you also saw, uh, we did some present perfect. Uh, so let's look at present perfect first and let's analyze uh, some of these sentences. Let's clear the board. Oopsie, not all of it, but anyways. So here we go. Uh, first, to make present perfect, we use the subject plus uh, the auxiliary have. plus the verb in past participle, all right? This is how it works. First goes the subject, 
then uh, goes the then goes the verb have the auxiliary verb have the verb in past participle. All right. All right. Good. So this is how it works. And uh, let's make some sentences. For example, I have uh, I have uh, taken I have taken Portuguese classes classes twice already twice this year let's say this year okay but when i talk about another person i use this look she has the form the correct form of the verb to have i use she has taken portuguese classes classes twice this year isn't it a lot of fun to talk to yourself? Yes, it is. All right, good, good, very good. So that is it. That's how you make it. Now let's make negative sentences. All right, let's make negative sentences. So here we use a subject the form of the verb have you know the verb the form of the verb have and uh, also uh, we use a verb in past participle and hey looks we forgot something here plus not plus the, ver the form of the verb in, in past participle. So this is how it works. It's pretty simple. And uh, let's make some sentences here. Like, uh, for example, I haven't, I haven't washed my car in a week. Look at this. I haven't washed my car in a week. All right, that is very, that is an example. Now let's talk about other people. So she hasn't read, she hasn't read the students, the student's manual in this course, just in case we have a compliment. All right, and this is how it works. It's pretty simple. All right, very good, very good. And uh, now let's go over uh, another topic we cover. So uh, let's share uh, the student's manual here. Let's share a student's manual here. It's loading, loading, loading. I think it's popping up. So yeah, we'll go over uh, We'll go over product development. And yes, that's what we're studying now. All 
All right, good. So what are the stages of product development? Well, that's easy. Let's take a look. First, we start with a brainstorming. And the brainstorming is about generating ideas. Okay, it's the idea generation, what people call idea generation. All right, then uh, we continue with the next step, uh, with the next step. And uh, let's take a look at the other one. Which one do you think that is? Right, first we do that, you know, we do the uh, idea generation. And after doing that, we think of our concept development and testing, we do that. And after that works, uh, we do a business analysis. And if it works, we start working on it our product development. We also work on idea screening, which is very helpful too. And that's in order to compare ideas. We work on commercialization, test the market, and finally, we launch it. Some words that we might, have, uh, might need to review are prototype, target audience, manufacturing, and positioning. This a prototype is a is an example, is an example of a, of the product you're going to sell. A target audience is a, the group of people who are going to use or purchase or consume or whatever your product. And uh, then uh, we have a uh, manufacturing and. Uh, Manufacturing is assembling, is uh, making, the making of the product. And finally, we position it. Position it means to means to uh, sell it in the market, to put it in the market. Yes, that is how it works. So these are some uh, words that matter, that are important. All right, great. All right, so these are some of the ideas. I'm gonna also share some ideas here from uh, my teacher's book as well, so you can see what's the order of uh, each step. Right, let's just wait for it to load. Let's continue waiting, it's still loading.
It's still loading. We're still waiting. Still loading, still waiting. All right, great. So, so here's uh, here's how uh, how this works. Let's uh, take a look again at the steps of a product development. So first, we do the uh, the idea generation. We also do an idea screening, and after that, uh, we are going to do some type uh, some kind of uh, analysis. Look at this ones. Take a look at this ones. They're a lot of fun, I tell you. Look at this. So uh, then we do the idea screen, then we develop a concept. Here is when we start like putting the ideas together, right? And, uh, and uh, creating like a logo for it, you know, its name and thinking of the people who are gonna buy it. Then we do a business analysis with it, you know, see who are, uh, if, it, if it's actually feasible to buy it, I mean, to, to produce it. If, after the analysis and after analyzing this, we work on the product itself. We do the product development, you know, we start manufacturing. And uh, also we, after that works, we do a test marketing. Uh, so we ask around if people will actually buy it, if they will like it if if, or if they want it. And uh, after that, uh, we, are going to work on commercialization. Like we start uh, taking our product to the people who may possibly buy it. And after that, we launch it to the public. So everybody buys it. All right, isn't that good? Isn't it a lot of fun? So this is how it works. Hey, look, these two guys are Rodrigo and, uh, and what's his name? I kind of recall, what's his name? Oh yeah, Rodrigo and Edgar are having a conversation. It goes like this. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan uh, the new course. I don't know where to start. So Edgar gives him an idea and he goes like, oh, first you should write down an idea related to the market we want to offer, of course, a lot of course, sorry. Good idea. But it, but it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. 
but don't you worry, partner. It's no big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening concept development and testing the business analysis. I'm not sure I, I, I'm not sure I understand. I relax, I've done this kind of work before. Just uh, give me time and I will teach you how to do it. All right. And this is how it goes. It's quite simple. I love it. And uh, well, let's see. So do you think Rodrigo could develop uh, the new course successfully by himself? Mm, probably not. He doesn't know where to start, so that's not possible for him. Hey, what about this? What is the step of the product development process Rodrigo is struggling with? Mm. You know, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know where to start from. The first step we call we use is the idea generation, what some people call brainstorming. All right, so that's the one. And what steps should Rodrigo take after identifying the target market of the product? Mm. Now, after identifying the target market of his product, he should go ahead and uh, compare other products, idea screening, then uh, do a little business analysis and see if uh, they have the funds for it, you know, checking if, if his own company is ready for to, to face this new challenge. And after that, if the company is ready for investing in such an activity and doing such an endeavor, uh, they go ahead and, uh, they go ahead and create the product, manufacture it, and take it to their factories and start working on it and selling it and producing it. Product development itself, and they, the concept itself, they create the concept and they, they, they do that. And uh, after that, they follow the whole process. And you know what I'm talking about. So that is it, that is it. Also product line, let's not forget about product lines. Product lines are a variety of items known by the same brand and distributed by the same manufacturer. Like uh, for example, Diana. Diana makes lots of snacks of different flavors for different kinds of people. And uh, like for example, they have uh, nachos, they also have jalapenos and they make so many different ones. Like for example, Coca-Cola uh, makes uh, Diet Coke, Sprite, and uh, others. They also make uh, mineral water. Uh, so they have different kinds of products for different kinds, for different kinds of people. Another super famous uh, product line is Apple. Apple has uh, many products under the same brand. Take for instance the iPod, take for instance uh, the iPad, take uh, for instance the iPhone itself. Uh, what else? Well, there, there are plenty of things they make. Uh, they make AirPods, they make AirPods too. So there are lots of things that Apple, Apple makes. That's why they're called a product line. All right. This is it for today. Just reinforcing everything that's been covered so far. If you are watching this video, I thank you very much. And I hope to see you soon. God bless you. Meetings over 50 minutes is what the, is what the schedule stated. Although if it's a for demanding more, let's stay just for longer.
microphone microphone went mute. Sorry. All right. So in the let's remember also to respond in the discussion box also to complete all of your exercises before Friday so that you have a good grade at the end of the course and that you are promoted to the next one. It's mandatory to complete all of your exercises so you guys do not forget to do that. It's very important, absolutely important. Remember to meet, uh, to join the meetings timely, not to meet miss classes. It's highly important that you do that too. And don't you also forget to practice on your own. Meeting is about to be over.